Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about JavaScript benchmarking. A few days ago I was running some tests and I was trying to really just validate if a given string is URL in the JavaScript and then well, Node.js and then I find out a few solutions on the internet. I was really struggling to find out which one is the right one in terms of performance and other things. And then I came across with a few solutions. So this is just a very normal search in JavaScript for the Google and then I'm really trying to validate URL in JavaScript. I get some results. Let's go through them one by one. So for example, coming here, I'm going to just accept it for time being. You just check if the JavaScript string is URL and you can see, for example, here this answer has just uh, 541 and it's using new URL and then it's checking some other things. Moving on, then there is one more which is really using regular expression or regex. And then if you just move on, you can see people are debating on different things and let's use this one, let's use the other one, etc, etc. Even like if you go to other websites, for example, here we have kind of the same things. They are just saying this is ex regular expression and then then again, regular expression, they have new URL and really more and more. So I'm just really confused by now, which one is the best one? And again, moving on, pretty much most of them are copy and paste from one place to other, but you get the idea. And then I find out, you know what, I really need to just put a benchmark and find out which one is faster. Obviously there are difference in terms of which one is doing what or which one is helping me with my test case, but we will put that one aside at the moment and we think we have a regular expression and also using a, a JavaScript method. So you get the idea and we, we can just test it with different things as well. So first thing first is uh, we like I found like this benchmark JS library and then I can just run a benchmark on these two solutions and we can find out which one is the best one. So it's very simple. All we need to do just to really add uh, package.json to our repository and then npm install, uh, what was that? It's benchmark, yes, so npm install benchmark. And once this is installed, I am going to also create a file called index.js. Good, so let me open it in Visual Studio Code. I have it in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open this one and really close the rest. Let's ignore this one and this one. Okay, I will also on the left side, I'm gonna put my uh, terminal to go through the solution and run it together. First thing I need to do is to just import the benchmark, create a suite and then move on. So what I'm going to do is actually fast forward the video so you can see what I'm doing and then get to the fun part. Okay, now we have the whole code ready. Basically, all it does, just really adding two test cases. So the first one is using regular expression, and then second one is using new URL. Basically, I wanna make sure if the given string is valid URL. Okay, so next step is to just run it. So it will be node, then index.js. So the moment we are running it, you can see what is gonna happen at the moment. So with a regular expression, we ran 18 million operation per second, 
with the new URL, we could only do 641,000. So you can see the fastest would be a regular expression. Now it can just, it would be a little bit different if we have a different regular expression, as I said, but I'm going to stick with this one. It's very interesting to notice a few things. First thing is, well, looking at this code, it seems maybe less readable, but the performance is way, way different and better to compare with just the new URL, uh, which comes with JavaScript as, as a native like uh, classes you can create. So you can create a new URL with the given string, yes, but you can see the performance is very different. Uh, if, if it comes to the readability, I might go with the second option, but if it comes to performance, I need to go with this one. So there is really now a time to make a decision. What is more important to you and how often are you going to run this piece of code? If, for example, your API is going to just run and validate this one once every, I don't know, a few seconds or once a, once a second, it's not really a big case. But if you're going to run this one a few million times per second, for example, you have a big array and constantly you need to really check these values and make sure this is a valid uh, URL, then, then it's different. So you know when to use it, you get the idea. And even we can go even more crazy and find out what is the different type of like regular expression, because you know, we can just use the regular expression with new regex and then let's see what we're going to get from there. So I'm going to copy and paste literally the second one. And here I will say, I don't know, const regex, it will be new reg regular expression. And all I have to do, paste the regular expression inside the parentheses, sorry, here. There we go. So now I have regular expression on a top line, line 10. And then all I have to do is to just test it like this. So the first example is that I'm using it in line. The second example is I actually create a regular expression object and then test it against that. So this is, let's call this one in line. And then the second one would be, for example, with new regex. Reg regular expression. So let's run the test one more time. And now you can see the difference. Even though these two pretty much are doing the same thing, but you can see the output will be very different based on how you are really going to use regular expression. So the speed is also very important. There we go. So now we have the inline one, which is 18 million operation per second. And then the other one, which we created a new regular expression, then tested against that would be 4 million. Still is way faster than using the new URL, the test case number three here, it's still faster than this. But again, these two, which are pretty much using the same thing, but the way we wrote it is a little bit different. You get a different output. So 18 million versus 4 million. So you, you can see, really what you need to do for your application by doing this exercise. The first one is the least readable among these three tests. The second one is more readable, but is more performant than like the last one. And the last one is obviously more readable than any of them, any of other those test cases. So here I'll do just another really simple uh, use case, which we're going to do with the JavaScript. Really the idea is to give you a string and the string would be, we are going to replace the space with uh, dash. So just really replacing character. And all we want to do is just to test this one. Why do we need to do it? We can use it for slugify or really creating a, a friendly URL or any other use cases, but you get the idea. We really want to test and find out which one is faster, which one is better. So the first bit is using uh, string dot replace all. The second one is still a string dot replace, but we're going to use a regular expression instead of really just find uh, really what happened behind the scene here. Okay, I will run the test now. And you can see the example again. So it's node, and then actually it is the same file. And the fun thing is now you can see so if we use replace dot all, 
so it means this one string dot replace dot all it can run four million and something and then if you use regular expression here it really does nothing just very simple thing and all it does is really uh pretty much does the same thing Ex well not pretty much exactly does the same thing but look what's happened so four million versus five million is quite faster it's quite better but coming back to what i was trying to say is again I would probably say this is more readable because not everyone feel comfortable using regular expression and also it really come down to the, your, your service or project that you're using how frequently you want to use this one. Yes, it is important but also you want to give your code to others to read it. It's time to make a decision but this is a very good example. What else I want to do is I want to go even further. So we know this is faster but we are just having, uh, we are initializing some string and just put it to this va uh, variable called text. Then we are running replace. What I want to do, I want to even go crazier and then do this one. So instead of this text, I don't really want to store it in a variable. I just want to directly use the replace from the string. So we string. So whatever we want to call it really, it is here, it's from variable, yeah, you get the idea. So I'll store it, I'll save it actually, and then run the test one more time. And now I want to see which one is faster. I'm very uh, sure, that I'm, I'm sure this is going to be faster because there is no initialize, uh, initialize or assigning value, but let's see how faster it will be. So this is from value, it takes like 5 million something and this is with this string okay that was a surprise i don't know why but let's see okay i run it again and you can see we are getting pretty much very close number the first time it ran it get this the second time i ran i just get pretty much the same numbers but a little bit different i'll run it for the third time to see what would I get but I'm um, suspect okay these two are very very similar the only difference is we initialize a variable and then assign some va a value the second one we don't I I suspect that this one should be faster because there is no assignment here at all but really it really depends on a lot of factors probably behind the scenes so the first time uh, with a regular expression and variable the second time with a string and the third time is actually think both of them are pretty much the same thing as you can see is five thousand sorry five million four three zero four three four so it's very very close it doesn't matter both are very fast if i stop this one probably we're going to get na now one the reason that you, you see just both of them as the fastest one it's because it really these two are very close to compare with the other one so but now these these two are very similar and here we are looking for the fastest one that's why it just really show both of them i'm going to run it one more time for the last time let's see what do we get okay numbers are pretty much the same again 5 million 400 uh, 430 thousand here is 5 million 610 and then six uh, five six nine six so the numbers are very much the same very much the same to compare with like you know if you run the test 10 times you will get pretty much the same numbers not exactly the same but very close and then again running it a few times we can see the fastest is with replace regular expression uh, with a string so which is this one so really the whole idea is to find out what is the most performant or the, what is the best function with the performance and then choose it for your code base if you have to go that route if you want to go with readability for example that, that this example is more readable if you again want to be more readable maybe you should go with the one which we were talking about a few seconds ago so we have a string we are using replace.all it's very easy to read it's really easy to understand that's a modern javascript but what is happening behind the scene maybe it makes it much slower as you can see we're just talking about four million and then so it's four million and then five millions all the other examples which we had so using really regular expression or using new url depends again readability versus performance or maintenance versus performance testing versus performance there are a lot of factors when you're going to choose one of them
But long story short, this is how to use Benchmark.js as a library and then how you can just check your code for the performance. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy watching these kind of videos and learn something, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with whoever may benefit from this one.